It's Tuesday, July 2nd, and we are watching the tropics and how this could potentially impact Texas. First, we're going to touch base on what's actively happening. Hurricane Barrel continues to break records. Now a category five overnight in the Atlantic Basin. Current wind gusts of 200 miles per hour, but max sustained winds of 165 miles per hour. And Barrel did make landfall Monday during the morning as a category four hurricane along the Windward Islands. This is the earliest category Category five on record. It's the first major hurricane that developed east of the Antilles during the month of June, and it went from a tropical storm to major hurricane status. That's category three or higher in 42 hours. That's only ever been done six other times on record. Now still a powerful category five storm as it continues its trek towards the west in the Caribbean. Now current watches and warnings in place. Española under a tropical storm warning along the southern edge, but the whole island of Jamaica under hurricane warnings and newly added the Cayman Islands now under hurricane watch. This is the track that we're expecting. The reason why it's still so powerful low wind shear and very warm water. Currently, the sea surface temperature in the Caribbean resembles water temperatures that we see during peak hurricane season, so it has a lot of energy to feed off of. But over the next couple of days, it does look like it runs into some shear and that's going to weaken the hurricane status, but still powerful conditions as it makes its way just to the south of Hispaniola sometime tonight into tomorrow morning and during the day Wednesday, likely bringing flooding rains across Jamaica as well as strong wind gusts. The Cayman Islands sometime Wednesday night into Thursday morning and it weakens as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula likely making landfall as a category one sometime late Thursday into early Friday before it taking a turn into the southern Gulf. Now, why should Texas be looking at this in the next week or so? So right now, this is still feeding off of the warm Caribbean waters, but eventually it'll be in the Gulf and hurricane tracker hurricane models showing this every line that you see here on the spaghetti plot is a different forecast model. A lot of them in good agreement. It stays south of of the Dominican Republic. It stays south of Jamaica just barely and it moves into the Yucatan Peninsula, but models start disagreeing after that. A lot of models de generally taking it into the southern Gulf, but a handful still bringing it up into the northern Gulf sometime early next week. And the reason why models are showing this is this. We have this ridge of high pressure that's protecting Texas from any tropical activity right now. But over the course of the next several days, this shifts towards the east. And as that happens, we're going to see this window of opportunity for this tropical activity to move on up sometime early next week. So definitely pay attention to the forecast here, especially as we head into the weekend and into early next week.